To connect the director to your wireless router, just tap the top and it'll start flashing red. Then walk over to your wireless router. And then just tap the WPS button on your router and then just wait and it'll start connecting. You'll know the connection has been made with your router because the director will stop pulsing red, it'll turn solid red, and then eventually in just a couple of seconds it'll turn green. Solid green means that it's connected to your wireless router. The next thing you'll need is the serial number which is located on the back of your director. The next thing you'll need to do is go to my.aquaillumination.com and register your new director with the serial number you found on the back of the director. Once you click register, you'll get a pop-up that'll say that you need to verify your email address. So just go into your uh, email account, whether it's Google, whatever you use. Uh, you might have to hit refresh um, once you go to your inbox it might take a minute or so. But uh, go ahead, open up your email, refresh the browser, and then um, you'll get the email from Aqua Illumination. Click on the link and that's it, you're done. Now that you've successfully registered and confirmed your email, go back, it'll take you back to this screen, put in your username and your password, and log in. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to uh, make a name for your director and insert the serial number. Do that, and you're done with this part. Once you click add, you'll see your director right there on the left side of your screen. And now it's time to go to your director's website. Before you compare your director to your lights, you have to make sure that your lights are in the discovery mode. Just look at the back of your lights. The LED should be illuminated red. If it's not red, hold the little button for about 7 seconds and it'll turn red. The next step is to open your browser. Type in director your serial number local. This screen will pop up and click on the layout tab. Then on the bottom click discover and it'll start looking for your lights. Once they're found you'll see all the lights that you have in the little uh, the dark blue box on the right. Once you have all your lights click on them, drag them over into the blueprint section in the order that they're laid out across your system. Now to see which lights are which you could um, double click on the little hydro box or the vega box or whatever you have and uh, it'll start flashing on the tank. I'll show you that a little later though. Once you have your lights there, don't forget to hit save and on the top of the screen you'll see that your settings have been saved. Next you're going to want to click on the control tab. Here's the con what the control tab looks like. I can zoom in right here. Obviously the date has not been programmed because it's not in 1999. Uh, just click on the top where the date is. You can set your date with the drop down boxes. It's super easy. Okay, now that the time is set, let's go back to the control page and click Easy Setup on the right. The first page is your sunset, uh, sunrise and sunset times. If you like, you could create your own preset name, so that way you can use it on multiple lights if you have more than one. I just named it HydroCycle. Next, I'm going to choose my sunrise time. My sunrise time, I'll say it's about 8.30 a.m. And my sunset from the drop-down menu, I'll select 6.30 p.m. After you have those two selected, go to your ramp time. Your ramp time is also going to be a drop down menu and I picked 30 minutes. I like to enable the lunar cycle because it's pretty interesting to watch at night. I'll choose the lunar cycle from 9 p.m. to let's say 5 a.m. Then once you're done, click next. Your min and max ramp times, uh, ramp percentages will be next. The little circles on the left are your minimum values and the little circles on your right are your max values. Uh, on the right of your screen, you can see me adjusting the percentages for the lights. It's that easy. 
So you, ex you can uh, set your minimums, and then after you do that, you'll set your maximum and click Save. Remember, always hit Save. And then when you're done, don't forget to click save. Otherwise, all those things you just programmed will be for nothing. You know it's saved because it'll say complete at the top of the page. And lastly, I thought I'd go through some of the uh, screenshots of the settings page. That way you guys can see what it looks like when you're first uh, initially setting up your director. Uh, so at the top right corner is a little drop down menu. Click it and you'll start seeing uh, some of these uh, displays here. So what I'll do is I'll pan down the camera so that way you guys get a, a better uh, shot of what the heck we're looking at. So enjoy. <laughs> And before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys one cool thing that uh, Alka Illumination is working on. They're trying to get real-time weather linked into your director, so that way when it's cloudy or sunny outside, you can see that reflected in your tank as well.